are back. Good day, my friends. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is in your world. It's late evening for me here. I took a two-hour nap, so now I'm going to be awake all night. Ay, 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 but that's okay, because you know what? I can get on the bench and finish off this kit, uh, or get closer towards finishing this David Chin Duster build. It's almost done. I can't believe it. We're just getting the fine details in it done now. And you know what? We're going to reveal the clear coat on the body, but first let's go over this. I did get the subframe in. Chuck it out. Now the thing you got to be careful, gluing the subframe. I glued the engine in after, but the subframe you got to make sure that is level. Because you know what, on these kits where you put the subframe in, you don't want the front of this hoop kicking up. Because then you're not going to get the body on, it's not going to fit proper. So take special care, boys and girls, when you're putting subframes on some of these kits. Like, um, I guess GM Camaro style or Dodges like this. This one had a separate, I think I showed you last video, that... It was separate K-frame, but it went in good, but I did the damn, look at this, I forgot something. Do you notice that? Look at that, except for that hair in there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to end up doing the uh, <laughs> Models by Glenn thing and forget the dry shaft, but you know what? I think it'll fit in there. I can squeeze it in and dab it with glue, or I could squeeze it in there and make it a, a real rotating drive shaft. And of course I gotta do some touch-ups because I wasn't happy with the couple of little divots sticking up. So we got that in. I'm gonna put the exhaust on today and the uh, steering component I think and the other thing I didn't finish up I got to do the engine bay, the rear firewall and the side panels on the engine bay but I'm waiting for the paint to dry. I'm gonna give it a couple more, two more days to cure. And I think it's dry enough. Hold on, turn the camera around. My glasses, geek glasses, can't see. Blind in the one, one eye, can't see out of the other. Ah, uh, it's dry. The body has dried for what, two days, three days? I can't remember now, but I think it's dry enough now where I can put on the decals. And I'm probably repeating myself, who knows. Uh, but anyways, yes, I am somewhat happy with this finish. It's as glossy as I wanted, actually. Almost a bit too glossy. Factory cars back in these days never had that super gloss finish. And this one, you could polish, sand it and polish it. But you know what? We're leaving it just the way it is. It actually turned out fairly decent. As we're going to try and get the camera in there and the shine. So that's exactly... I'd say 80% of what I want. So it turned out actually pretty good. It dried pretty decent. No dust in there because I did use a tack rag. No dust, zero, nothing. What a bonus, I love it. Don't have to polish it out or nothing. It almost looked like it went on thick, but that was my case too because uh, as I said, when I was doing it out the window, it was like, I sprained it from hot in here, outside was minus two or something. So that spray was freezing up really quick. Um, I was out wandering around today and I found an air gun going up for auction, or airbrush gun. So I'm thinking I might put a bid on it and I don't know how much to bid on it. I took a short video clip, I'll throw that clip in here. It's probably a shitty recording, but that's okay. And we'll come back after I do some more gluing. I should put the exhaust on too. So I'll do a few small things and come back. Okay, let's see how this video comes in. Uh, Pache Gun AF588 on for auction. Now what do I bid? I don't know what this is worth or even how old it is. So I got till um, four days to bid on this. Uh, looks complete even though it shows empty, but I think the additions fell through. I think it's pretty old, this guy. Uh, but it might be worth 10, 15 bucks. Why not, right? I think. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Actually, before we start anything else, I'm going to do some detailing. 
Now I changed the plan on the exhaust because it comes out the side of the body and down low and sticks out. I think I'm going to put the body on first, mount it permanent and then put that side exhaust so it matches up to the rocker panel. So that's why I did it that way. Uh, I got the drive shaft in. I need some touch ups there or maybe we just might leave it like that because uh, yeah um, <laughs> to make it that natural look. You know what? It's not perfect. It's not a show car. It's a factory. Again, I repeat myself a million times. Now what I did was I took my little fine detailing brush, this guy here, and we went, whoops, sorry about that, I'm trying to stand up. I blacked out the holes in the uh, rims. Big difference already. So from that to too shiny chrome, and then I'm gonna take silver, do the outside with silver. Not the outside trim ring, but the outside metal. Then the Mexican hat is going to go a darker argent. So we're going three tone on these style. Whoops, sorry, I'm bouncing all over. So that step is now completed. Now what I did was I made my own panel liner or black wash, whatever you want to call it. All I did was add a little bit of acrylic with water. And I just diluted it down, thinned it out, and then it flowed in much easier the result is pretty decent now I'm gonna take this is about all I've got aluminum so that should work for the argent silver and I have to go looking around and see what I have for the Mexican hat darker argent uh, hold on so that's kinda of the look we're going for but I'm gonna leave the rings chrome whatever instead of this brushed look but that see that silver should look the same as that and then the hat a little bit darker uh, that was it I like this color actually a lot so that's what the look we're going for okay the detailing is going pretty awesome I had to go make a cup of coffee to keep me going you know I don't have the shakes yet especially when you're painting with a one eighteen oh or double oh I don't even know I don't know all I know is that it's pretty thin it is that big that needle and look at the difference wow see I did the silver argent and the black outline compared to the chrome chrome so I don't know if it shows up as well on camera but it's looking good so I got two more rims to do and I've got a graphite metallic here that might work yeah bad lighting in here I know uh, over the chrome I think this graphite metallic just might uh, be good enough for what we are doing Okay, I don't know if the light picks this up, but you know what I really like the look of that that two-tone Definitely worked out fairly decent not perfect But you know what for what I wanted on this car that that is is perfect for this car. How's that? <laughs> I like that color differential Wow, I'm smiling away that deserves a coffee doesn't it kids? Okay, more details. Look at that. The little white ball shifter. I checked some uh, reference photos and it actually shows a black ball shifter. And you know what? I'm going to keep it white because it matches the interior. So, uh, the tires, I'm not going to white letter them. We're going to keep that black. Now, the other problem with this baby is the shark tooth grill. This is so incorrect it ain't funny because they were never chrome. Only the outside leading edge was chrome. Uh, very, I won't say a very bad rendition. This does look really nice, the grill, but it's just wrong being all that chrome. So I thought about, again, going with that silver aluminum argent color and then blacking out the inside. But I'm second guessing that because of the decals. I'm using the AAR decals and the blackout treatment on the rear tail panel. Um, those guys there, I guess, which goes in the back tail light panel. I'm thinking of matching the front. So what I might do is paint airbrush the outside silver 
and then wipe the chrome trim here. Where's my marker, pen marker? I might wipe that outside edge uh, to chrome, keep that chrome. But the inner, I might go with black and then just wipe the grill uh, so it comes chrome. So I, I can't explain it, but I think I can just do it. But I need uh, uh, airbrush silver and I don't I don't want to use this bottle so I might just go to the store and find a one pint is that what, or not a pint pints too big a small quart jar of silver that might be the plan of attack and then I'll mix it very thin spray the outside do the black wash blah 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 so that part will be a little more complicated which means I might be done for now, maybe? I'm unsure. Let's see. Let me think of things over here. Okay, I know how to explain this. So, shark tooth grill, whoops. Go away, don't want that. Uh, silver argent, see? Da -da 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 -da. Silver argent, silver argent. Now if you look at the regular duster, aha, that is black and then silver argent around. That's what I'm thinking of doing on this grill. But I might just wipe the grill top and keep the that silver and all the rest will be black. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how we do when we get to that part of it when I get some silver paint. So we might just end it here, I think boys and girls. Well that about does it for today's video. Last night's little bit of a building splurge, however you want to call it. Today we're out taking the old new bike, sorry I was going to say old bike, <laughs> the new bike out for a ride, get some exercise in, prepared for those long trips I want to do this year and I'm going to run and get some silver paint for that uh, grill and I'm thinking I'm going to stop by the industrial center. Like I said I was going to do some volunteer work for them so we're gonna go check in with them I haven't been there for a month so I'm a bad volunteer <laughs> they have a full-on machine shop was my, my talk with them and to run the steam uh, so they got a couple of steam uh, not only the steam train but a stream tractor so I want to get signed on to that training and learn how to do that I think that'll be a lot of fun so anyways blah 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 I know Chuck, what can you say? <laughs> Crazy bastard. Anyways, my friends, keep posting your build videos. I'll keep watching and you can check out what I got coming up because I might have a buddy build coming up in a month or two-ish. So, uh, yeah, end of February. Blah. Can't talk today. Substandard. The end of February. February, we're going on to March. And we'll see you next video. Stay awesome until then. And cheers, my friends.